Hey everybody, it's Ms. Dietrich showing you lesson 3.9, uh, which is on distance of coordinate planes. And the first part of it is asking you to find the distance between the pair of points. And I want to show you kind of a little shortcut. I'm going to show it to you first, and then I'm going to show you a coordinate plane and why this works. All right, the first thing you should probably do is identify the coordinates that match. So see number two, this is the same as that, this is the same as that, and number four, this is the same as that. And number five, looks like the x coordinates match. And in number six, we have the x coordinates matching. All right, so the second part is to look at the ones that don't match. So number two, it happens to be the, um, the x coordinates that don't match. And you're going to think about the difference between these two things, in particular the absolute value. So the difference between these two is four, so that means that these two points are going to be four units away on a coordinate plane. If we take a look at number three, the absolute value of 4 is 4. In other words, the distance this number is from 0. The absolute value of a negative 8 is 8. In other words, that's how far that is from 0. So that means that if we take the absolute values and add those together, that's going to be the distance these two points are apart. Let's take a look at number 4. The ones that we're looking at here are 8 and 5. The difference between an 8 and a 5 is 3. If we take a look at number 5, let's talk about absolute value because these are not going to be in the same quadrant. The absolute value of a negative 6 is 6. The absolute value of a 5 is 5. So therefore, the answer here, if we combine those two things, if we add these two green numbers together, is 11. For number 6, the coordinates that don't match are the y coordinates in this case. The absolute value of a 2 is 2. The absolute value of a negative 4 is 4. If we combine a 2 and a 4, that's going to give us 6. All right, now let's take a look at here a couple of uh, the ones that we just did, and let's take a look at them on the coordinate plane. How about we look at, uh, we'll look at number 5, this one right here. We're going to go ahead and plot that. So we're doing this one right here. We're going to plot a negative 2, negative 6, so if we go negative 2, this would be a negative 1, this would be a negative 2, and then we're going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll call that just to give it a name, we'll call that point A. And then I made some marks here, so let me just erase that. All right, and then the other point is a negative 2, which would be left 2, and then it would be up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be right here. Now if we were to count the distance between these two dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Do you see why dealing with the absolute values of these two terms works? The absolute value, when you add the absolute values of these two, you get 11. And isn't that the indeed the length of the line? Now, if you're still confused, let's take a look at another one. using the, We used the shortcut first, but now we're going to see why the shortcut works. How about we look at uh, number 6? Plot a negative 5, which would be left 5, and then up 2. That's going to be right here. We just plotted this, and now we're going to plot this. A negative 5, so that would be here, and then we're going to go down for 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be right here. Now when I showed you the shortcut, recall that this, the x coordinates matched, so that meant we were going to look at the y coordinates and talk about the absolute value. Now let's see how far away these two dots are from each other. Let me move this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They're 6 away from each other. So basically all we were doing is we were finding the absolute value of each of these terms and adding them together. The absolute value of this is 2, the absolute value of that is 4, and 2 plus 4 is 6. Okay, I hope you found this shortcut helpful and you should be able to apply these to anything. You, you shouldn't need a coordinate plane to figure it out. You should just know and understand this little trick. All right, good luck.